Hello, good morning on Monday. I did not get a good night's sleep for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, but there we go. And it is absolutely raining outside. So lovely day for it. It's my sister's birthday today, but um, we went out the other day for, oh my God, the most delicious food. It's a place called Marble in Bridgend. Uh, it's like a specialty not like a steakhouse, because when you say steakhouse, it makes you think of that, those roadside places in the 80s that, um, you know, yeah. But, oh, it was delicious. Um, we shared a Chateau Briand, um, and some, like, uh, which, oh, it was delicious. And, yeah, we, and we had, like, uh, what do we have? Leek and spinach gratin. Um, and Dauphinois potatoes, I had broccoli because it's me um, and yeah it was just absolutely lush, thoroughly enjoyed um, and my sister is on about, well she was on about going to pont -a charity shops today but it's such a miserable day I doubt she wanted to traipse around pont -a so she said she might go to Ikea instead, not quite the same but I was like if you're going can you get me some Jeff chairs? Jeff did go to the car boot sale yesterday um didn't spend a lot i bought one two three four five six things again went with my sister um met a lovely family there hello the owens family how are you doing i think it's tasha and chris i think i have tattoos love them um really lovely family they had the two boys as well um and doing a bit of bargain shopping obviously because why not but yeah lovely to meet you <laughs> um and i said i would show you the pink poodles they're coming up in a minute i'll do my little haul now actually um because i've got a set up in my photography area here which obviously i'm gonna need back in a minute because i'm gonna have to do the post so i'll show you those bits now so for a pound i've got magnetic class and then it's gorgeous. I wonder if you can see it in the light there. Like the way it hits like the orange glass. It's like glows like pink as well. Pretty cool. One pound for that. My favourite find, other than the poodles, um, is this ring. How lush is that? Um, I've done a Google image search. Uh, it's apparently by And Other Stories. Um, paid a pound for that one, but I really loved it. It's like... Um, kind of art deco take with plastic and just yeah thought it was lush not quite um, a find it's okay um, Tower Stock and Jones clock the um, like the numbers light up I haven't tested it yet but it all looks like good like it should work so obviously I'll test it later um, 10 to 12 pounds back this is quite cool. This is three pounds. I don't think it's meant to have like a locker or anything, but this like look at them for yourself. Well, not really. That would be weird. If it's just like a picture of you in my screen. You'd be like, what am I doing there? Um, but yeah, little display cabinet mirrored back with like these plastic things, sort of mahogany effect, but it's you know it's a plastic coating, isn't it? Um, that's three quid for that. I know they always sell because um. It doesn't just go to people with thimbles anymore. They go to people with collections of things. And obviously, like, you know, some jewellery would look nice in there as well. Um, I scored. Wow. Oh, look, it's a bit of Gucci. It's a bit of Gucci. It's Gucci. What is it? Nothing. It's literally just an empty Gucci box. But I paid a pound for that. And, um... I've seen some in sold, one went for 35, one went for 38. That's all right, isn't it? But um, I'm tempted, shall I keep it for a little bit? Is it tempting fate to go fill my Gucci box with Gucci, real Gucci? It's a watch box. Um, yeah, it would be a watch box, a bracelet box would have like finer things. Um, I'm not particularly after a Gucci watch, but I've got my, my Mickey Moto box and I'm like, universe, supply me with Mickey Moto to put in the box. Universe, Gucci please. You know, 
you never know. And then, there you go, this is this is the pink poodles. So for two pounds, they did come with a lady figure with an umbrella, but she was so chipped and broken, I was just like, it's not much point. I'm gonna sell the three poodles on their own because they're cool. And this is who they are. They are three poodles in like a chain gang. So they've been very naughty poodles. Um, you know, one's, one's sitting down, so he's the boss, or she's the boss. And then these two, like the twins, are following. These are the spaghetti poodles, because that's their favorite food. Because of like, obviously the, the technique there. Um, yeah, I, I thought they were absolutely fab. I've seen white ones and black ones on eBay. They're sold for okay money. Um, I haven't seen pink ones on there. It's obviously pink ones. Pink ones are the super rare ones, aren't they? So, yeah. So, I was pretty chuffed with them because they are so kitsch and camp. I absolutely love them. Um, with eBay, I have had... Let's have a look at me graph. Just like Z used to do, I'm gonna look at the graph. I'm not gonna show you my graph because that would involve techno technological things. Yeah, I had a crack in Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturdays are normally rubbish for me. And then for some reason, 255 pound. Like that's all right, you know? Um, And then yesterday, only 140. Um, I am waiting payment on four things. Um, I expect to cancel one of them for another one to pay later on in the week and um, the other two I don't I don't know uh, one of which is the um, the the duvet cover thing the Mary Quant um, duvet cover so I wanted to be able to show you that this morning go look it's all never mind um, I have got 13 things going out today um, one of which is going to another uh, regular buyer so Hello, she bought a lovely silver necklace. Um, another couple of repeat buyers, which is always nice. But um, yeah, I will show you some pretty cool sales once I've had my coffee. I've tied it all this way and I've picked my orders. So I'll be back soon. Okay, let's quickly do what's going out because I've just had a text from my sister. Um, so we might we might be going out still because I'm expecting a delivery after waiting for it. Some of it is jewelry and some of it is beach clothes, and I'll tell you why beach clothes in a minute. Okay, so first of all, we've got a two kilogram lot of uh, costume jewelry, sixteen ninety nine, including post. The Samson print clocks, uh, double duvet set worth twenty four ninety nine. The lovely silver necklace of little lovebirds and a tree. Um, that's going out to subscribe. Hello, that went for seventeen pounds. An abalone inlay cuff bangle that went for nine ninety nine. A horseshoe nail pendant necklace on cord eleven ninety nine. Another two kilogram lot of costume jewellery that went for nineteen ninety nine, including post. This little necklace you can't see it in there, but it's a little heart and like a ring, like sort of linked together and that went for £12. Um, Sylvester the cat has sold, yay Sylvester, went for £20.31, pence. random price but that was the offer so there we go. Um, the D squared French lads t-shirt has gone, I know Amanda's watching, hi Amanda, it's my mate from uni a long time ago, she's now my stalker, um, virtual stalker. But um, she's like, you find such cool stuff. And I'm like, oh, I do okay. But she liked that shirt. It's not going to her. It's going to someone else. But that was over £20. Sale of the weekend for £89. It's a pair of stud earrings. 14 karat gold, pink tourmaline, and uh, made in Mexico. Yeah, £89. They're going abroad. Someone messaged me the other day, hello to them as well, um, that they've had like uh, some jewellery stopped at the GSP centre. I'm wondering whether I've had any issues with that. I have. It's whenever there's like a gemstone like pearl or coral, abalone, uh, mother of pearl, that kind of thing. So um, sort of seaside -y natural things. Um, that's when it gets stopped at GSP. I wish 
that like when you tick like this contains pearl that it would just like stop the GSP in the countries that won't let it in. They don't get their item, they do get their money back, and I still get the money, it's eBay that pays it out, and then I'm sure somewhere there's a fantastic warehouse of all these things, because they get kept, and that someone just comes in and goes like, oh, I'll give you a £50 bucket, and, and there they are with, you know, some cool shares. But anyway, pink tour tourmaline should be okay. Um, What was next? Um, Flame clip-on black enamel and gold tone earrings, they went for £6.50. These little star dangly earrings, they went for four pounds. And a sterling silver necklace with just a little, like, CZ in it. And they've added cubic zirconia as, like, one of the stones that you can add now because it was really annoying how to type it out before. But now it's an addition on there, finally. Um, but yeah, that went for seven pounds 19. I'm gonna package this all up now. Um, and yes, I shall tell you. So I have some beachy clothes come in. Well, I've already had some beachy clothes coming and I tried them on, kept two, sending two back because one of them didn't even, what's the point of that? Um, but I've got something else coming today which hopefully that fits and I can take with me and that is because next week I'm going to Rhodes! I'm going to Rhodes! So excited, can't wait, it's going to be lush. Looking outside today, it's pissing it down with rain, looking at the weather in Rhodes, it's a uh, a nice, slightly windy, but you know, okay, 21 degrees. That'll do, that'll do. Aye. So, yeah, I'm waiting for like a beach cover up thing to come in today and also delivery of jewelry. And if that comes before say like 12 o'clock-ish, we might be going out somewhere. It's just, I've got to stay in for that delivery because I've already missed it once. And I'll be taking pee. Right, I'm gonna package this all up now. And, um, and then we'll see what's happening for the rest of the day. Oh, well, that was stressful. I was on the hold to the doctor for like half an hour trying to get um, like prescription like put through for, for my Valium for flying because I'm not the, I'm okay coming back but going out because everything is so tense. I get a bit het up. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get through, it's like, He's like calling number 26, slowly, slowly going down and stuff. And then finally he's on and she couldn't hear me. And I was like, hello. And the Billy saw that while I was on the phone, I managed to get my travel insurance sorted. And I just had delivery of hopefully my beach cover up from Boohoo. I think this is in the sale at £16. I think I've had one very similar to this before when I was, when I was much larger. Um, but we're hoping that this, I mean, it's got to be leopard print because it's me, isn't it? It's like a duster. Oh. And then it's got a belt. Oh, that's perfect. Yay. Cool. Awesome. Right, I think my sister's just text. Um, we're going to be out somewhere in a minute. Yay. Right, we're here. We have come to somewhere up by Caffilly, I think. I don't know. Hengoid? Is that a real place? Yeah. yeah. We've come to Panatha, to the Panatha Ryu shop, which I keep, I follow on Facebook and I've uh, been wanting to come here for a while. So, um, yeah, it's all like donated stuff for charity and we're going to have a look around. Do, do, do. Brick and or brack. Oh, it is quite big, isn't it? Oh, whoa. Artwork. Is it bad that I kind of like that? Could you? Oh, I like it. Everything on this table is free. Look at this. Straight in on the mugs and china and stuff. Is that 
a bit of cheap plan. No, it won't be. No, probably not. That was kind of cute. So many clothes and things. And apparently through there, it's like filler bag for a pound. Ming cup. <laughs> Can you all spot the things that are worth a million to pounds? live once we were island. And it's up in the world. Hmm. Oh, she's found stuff. Cool. I was hoping that was the original mask trap, but it's not. I wanted to play with that. Ah, oh, Noah's Ark. Has it got the canvas? I shall check. No, it doesn't. Gutted. That would have been quite cool. Never mind. Look for some other crafter to have fun with.
It again, I'm probably with maple, with a moulin roti. Now, I'm sure Carla saw from the number four. I might pick that up. I don't know. Fruit, and the little black cat, or the fish. And mm. yeah, right. Kate's just taught me from taught me out of buying that because I actually don't have any way to put it, but never mind. So I haven't bought anything, not even that creepy doll or that one. But Kate's bought a couple of things, but now we're gonna be off for lunch. Schnoodle! Okay, now we're in Blackwood, um, which is not too far from Caffilly. That is Blackwood Miners Institute. Legendary building. Blackwood is obviously the home of the Manic Street Preachers, who would have gone there many times. Um, as a teenager, I interviewed the 60 foot dolls in there. I saw Knicky in there, uh, Manson. Um, yeah, cool building. Anyways, we're going to a not so cool building, which is the Weatherspoons, just there. Lunch today is a burger no with a massive pickle on it and a side salad. And Kate's having a Beyond Meat burger. Oh, that does look quite nice actually. Yeah. Right. It's a few hours later, I had to stop using my phone because I was running out of battery and we needed it for um, Google Maps purposes. But anyway, uh, we ended up, uh, I didn't buy anything in that reuse shop, it was, uh, uh, wasn't keen. So my sister bought a couple of things but nothing exciting. So then we popped into Blackwood where we had our lunch and uh, there's a few charity shops there and this is what I picked up. So a pair of these converted ginger jars, like converted into lamps. This Glow Union, I think it's the maze pattern, the mid-century vase, and a little bit of silver and turquoise. Not bad for £13. Okay, so I'm going to show you what's going out this afternoon. I'm going to do my post uh, from what's sold this afternoon. I've got eight things um, to go out, or eight orders, so that's cool. Um, but payment on the... Um, Vera, not Vera Wang, Mary Kwan uh, bed sheet that went for $21.99. I've also got this Cunard QE2 pin brooch that went for £8. This Leaf Link brace uh, necklace went for £6.39, but that's because I said that there's um, like lots of glue residue on it, that so it'll need a clean up, but £6.39. That's cool. And uh, this gold chunky necklace went for eleven ninety nine. And this vintage beaded necklace I went for five ninety nine. A combined order for this torque brooch, this torque brooch, um, brooch bracelet, and then this brooch, uh, seventeen pounds. Sorry, nineteen pounds seventeen for those. The little. Nine carat gold blue eye is sold for thirty-seven seventy-nine, and over on Etsy I've sold this fabulous rose ring. So there you go. I'm going to package those up, um, and then yeah, well, I'm going to say it now. That's it for me for today. I hope you kind of enjoyed. Sorry I couldn't show you everything, but like I said, we were using my phone to actually find where on earth we were going. But yeah, fun day. Um, my sort of plans. I'm obviously I'm getting stuff ready to go on holiday so I've got to do like loads of listings to make sure that listings are going live 
uh, while I'm on holiday as well. So I've got to work on that. Plus I've got odd jobs to do tomorrow as well. Um, so I probably won't vlog tomorrow. I didn't show you, but I did, I did tell you, I think, I'm sure I did, that I had a delivery of jewellery come in as well. So they're all in baggies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a baggy a day kind of thing. And uh, so I don't know how many they'll be, but they'll certainly be enough to tide you over while I'm away on holiday and stuff. Is that OK? Cool. I'm not, not sure when they'll start because I've got things to prep and stuff. But yeah, I hope that's OK. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to package all of this stuff up and go to the parcel shop. I shall see you again soon. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.